Hi, my name's Darren. I'm an operational team member of Buxton Mountain Rescue. And today I just want to share some tips uh, with you that you might want to consider when driving through winter conditions. Okay, so let's start with um, looking after ourselves if we find ourselves stranded in our vehicle for a period of time, could be a number of hours. So a really good option really is to pack a sleeping bag. Something else you want to consider as well, possibly a pair of gloves, a hat and a warm layer. It's going to get cold in that car, even with the engine running. So any situations, what we get trained at within the Mountain Rescue as well, is looking after number one, which is yourself. So what you want to do is keep yourself warm if you've already locked that. And now it's just nutrition. We've got to keep ourselves fed. So really what you're looking for really, an idea would be just a flask of hot water. The reason for a flask of hot water is you take some dehydrated food. And these have very high calorific value as well and keep you warm. And obviously just water, just drinking water. Okay, some other items that you might want to consider taking is obviously we've all got uh, mobile phones. How are we going to keep our phone charged? We can run it off a vehicle battery, but there's a potential that we could drain that battery and that um, you know, causes an, another issue with that. Obviously, we're not going to be able to start the car. So there's an idea if you carry a battery pack. In winter, we know the days are short uh, and dark. Darkness hits us very early. So another good idea is to carry a, a torch or even a hand torch. So what next? If you do find yourself stranded and you can't drive any further because of the conditions on the road, could be snowed, could be ice, you're going to have a look at how can we get that vehicle moving if it's safe to do so. So things you might want to consider is buying some chains. These are literally a lifesaver. A good alternative to snow chains are snow socks. These are really quick to get on uh, and they're really just designed really to, just to get you out of trouble. Not really designed to drive on like snow chains are. But if you're going to step outside the, the, your vehicle, could be icy on the ground and if you're just wearing you know, normal shoes you're going to slip. Might be another idea as well, you just pack a pair of sturdy footwear, boots, uh, something like that. Also they're going to keep your feet warm. Another thing as well is micro spikes. So attach those to your boots and that's going to you know, reduce the risk of you just slipping. You're going to keep screen wash at home in your garage uh, under the sink maybe. But it's a really good idea to pack some in the car. It doesn't necessarily need to be this size. Um, but if you run out of screen wash whilst you're in some really, you know, difficult winter conditions, there's nothing worse than having nothing to, to clear windscreen. And some kind of shovel. We might need to dig our way out. Uh, we might need to, you know, dig the snow from around our, our wheels to, to fit our chain. So it's always, you know, a good idea as well to carry that. Driving in snow is very different. This is not, I'm not going to give you advice here because I'm not in that position to do so. There's a lot of good resource out there. I recommend you check in something like the AA. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed and liked what you've seen here today, why not check out our other videos on our YouTube channel?